as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 214. All nations follow America's lead, July 25th. When all the people heard the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Daniel 3, verse 7. History will be repeated. False religion will be exalted. The first day of the week, a common working day, possessing no sanctity whatever, will be set up as was the image at Babylon. All nations and tongues and peoples will be commanded to worship the spurious Sabbath. This is Satan's plan to make of no account the day instituted by God and given to the world as a memorial of creation. The decree enforcing the worship of this day is to go forth to all the world. As America, the land of religious liberty, shall unite with the papacy, enforcing the conscience and compelling men to honor the false Sabbath, the people of every country on the globe will be led to follow her example. Foreign nations will follow the example of the United States. Though she leads out, yet the same crisis will come upon our people in all parts of the world. Nations will be stirred to their very center. Support will be withdrawn from those who proclaim God's only standard of righteousness, the only sure test of character, and all who will not bow to the decree of the national councils and obey the national laws to exalt the Sabbath instituted by the man of sin, to the disregard of God's holy day, will feel not the oppressive power of popery alone, but of the Protestant world, the image of the beast. The season of distress before God's people will call for a faith that will not falter. His children must make it manifest that He is the only object of their worship, and that no consideration, not even that of life itself, can induce them to make the least concession to false worship. To the loyal heart, the commandments of sinful, finite men will sink into insignificance beside the word of the eternal God. Truth will be obeyed, though the result be imprisonment or exile or death. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.